I've traveled backwards in time to see what the mobs were like in the prehistoric age. And we'll need to be careful not to be eaten by a dinosaur. Well, if we're gonna fix this black hole stabilizer, I have a feeling we're gonna need to head outside. Ooh, but this supply closet here. Yes. All right, let's do this. Oh, goodness. Yo, this place looks ancient. Oh, whoa. I have a feeling we're gonna be visiting this. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Hey, Cretaceous creeper. Hello there, strange creature. Hi! Nice horns! Yo, you look dangerous. I've been looking for some wild wheat to snack on, but I'm having trouble finding some. Could you find me some? When I eat it, I get a strong, explosive reaction that helps me fend off predators. Well, first of all, you're quite verbose for being a prehistoric creeper, but hey, I'm happy to help you as long as you don't blow up on me. I just don't want any other prehistoric mobs to get nearby. Hey, this could be exactly, yeah, wild wheat. Alrighty, how about it? I know a lot of creatures back in the day were huge in prehistoric times. I wonder if his belly is as well. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Literally. I kind of want you to go extinct. Take these triceratops horns. Perhaps you can find a use for them. Ooh. Well, I'm not sure how these are going to help me fix my time machine, but maybe they can help us find the next prehistoric mob. Ooh. Check it out. We can use the horns to just burn through this entire area. Ah, no dinos I'm going to be worried about these days. And it looks like we may have another prehistoric mob on our head. Whoa. Kitty cat. Early Enderman. Ugh, it's so hard to avoid eye contact with creatures. I could very easily avert my eyes when it comes to you. Hey, you. I don't think I've seen you before. That's, that's good. I'm happy about that. Could you bring me a pumpkin helmet? Might help me avoid seeing eye to eye with other mobs. Well, usually I like finding middle ground with people, but you know, I'll do what I can. Okay, no pumpkins in the forest. I don't see any at the top of the hill. I, where are these pumpkins? Actually, that's a good idea. We can use the Triceratop horns to get a greater- Oh! I think I see some pumpkins! Yeah! But we need one that has a face! Yoink! Alright, one pumpkin coming- Oh! What is that? Oh my goodness, that looks like a spaceship! Alright, here, let's get this pumpkin over to this enderman and we can figure out what's going on over there. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that's a good sound to make. This is just what I was looking for. I have these ender pebbles that you might like. Sure, just don't eat me, please. Oh boy, I don't want to get too close. Ender pebbles. Okay, maybe we can figure out how to use these with whatever this thing is. So these ancient pebbles can be used like ender pearls in some way to teleport things around. Maybe we can use it for the sh- Oh, I could really do with a nice steak dinner. Wait, this is supposed to be a chicken? Holy moly, prehistoric stats. Look at those teeth. Oh, hey, you. See that cow over there? Oh, I think I did. Yeah. Here, take this tall tail feather and bring me that cow. Oh boy, there's all sorts of gaps over here. But wait, maybe we can use these pebbles to navigate some of these gaps with the cow. For now though, the tall tail feather, whoa, it lets me float around. And apparently I took a test and got the highest score ever. And they removed Herobrine to protect him from me. Hi, Betsy. Ah, you're gonna meet a new friend. Okay, so why don't we put these ender pebbles down and try and get Betsy to land on a couple. Maybe if we place a few down, let me see, I'm gonna place down another one right here. Oh boy, not that many. All right, so I placed three sets of these pebbles. Now, all we need to do is see if we can get the cow to walk right on top of them. Come on, come on now. Yeah, oh look, it teleported. Look, he's hungry. Last three pebbles have been set. Come on down, Betsy. You've got a new friend headed your way. Come on, Betsy. Oh look, she's eager to be eaten. Come on down, Betsy. Hey, there you go. You satisfied? Can you tell me a little bit about what I'm looking at over here? Perfect, this is going to taste amazing. You left the meat on the ground. I suppose it still has a bird brain. Well, you're welcome. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> Let's figure out what this thing is. Hopefully whoever owns this ship can help me fix my time travel device. Something up there seems amiss. Let's use our feather to get right on up. Ooh, hello there. You aren't from this time period. Yeah, you don't appear to be either. Oh, so your time machine crashed here and now you're stuck. Wow, can read my mind? 
<laughs> yes, indeed. Well, I've been tasked with researching the mobs from this time period, so maybe if you help me out, I can help you get back home. Take this mob scanner and use it to get me three scans of three different creatures. Well, I can help you with that instantly. We've already run into three. Mob scanner in hand, we're gonna run it. Carnivorous chicken, what's that thing? Can I eat it? No, but we can get dino scans from it apparently. Hey, we've got one for the chicken. We've got one for the Enderman now as well. Please don't blow up. Hey! All right, time to deliver these over to the cow. Here you are. Now, that time machine, huh? On behalf, oh, I'm sorry. On behalf of the Galactic Cow Alliance, I thank you for your help. Ah, I have a spare wibbly wobby timey wimey doohickey that you might be able to use to fix your time machine. Oh, great. That cow didn't even tell me how to use this thing, but something seems interesting about this little wheat hut right here. Oh, oh. Goodness gracious! Velociraptor? <laughs> you are hideous. <laughs> what a unique looking creature. Well, you speak for yourself. What is this one called? Yeah, I am called Locked on Zip. I had acquired all the knowledge that this world has to offer, but you perplex me. Yeah, you're one to talk, my friend. I'm glad to see you've got two arms in this world, though. Perhaps a trade is in order. Bring me some shiny rocks, and I'll impart all my knowledge to you, my friend. Sure. So apparently this mob scanner can also be used to pick up nearby treasures. And this seems like a perfect place to be looking around for some shiny rocks because there's ores, hey, all over the place. Okay, this looks like it's just an emerald. Ooh, that looks good. Hey, uh, uh, it's the diamond. Hey, this one looks different. What do we have here? Hey, shiny rocks. And you know what else rocks? You guys for subscribing. All right, prehistoric velociraptor. I got your rocks. Ooh, shiny indeed. As promised, here's a tome of all the knowledge in the world. Wow, that thing must be huge. Yo. Uh, oh. All the knowledge in the world can fit in my hand. Maybe this book can help us figure out how to fix our time machine. I'm gonna remove the helmet here because I'm gonna need my brain to have enough room to take in all this knowledge. Velociraptor is the dominant species in peak of evolution. Yeah, okay. Theoretically, science is gonna be. Oh, goodness! What happened? All this new knowledge. We're just burning through this and my head just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me? I'm worried I'm gonna get top heavy. Look at all this information. Man, well I feel like there's everything there is to read in this book and I still don't know how to fix my time machine. Maybe though, this creature will be able to help us. Skeleton, a fossilized one at that. Hey you, bald baboon. Well I never. You don't happen to have a brain, do you? <laughs> well, you know, it's not the best, but these days it's pretty big. I am not so fortunate as to have one. I have quite the bone to pick with brain-owning beings. Maybe you could give me your brain? You don't seem to need it anyways. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> it depends on the day. Well, I'm not gonna, you know, give you my brain, but maybe we can keep reading this philosophy book and... Oh, what was that? Huh? Extra brain? All right, so here's part of my brain, I guess. Ah, I think. Here, take these giant bones as thanks for helping me. Yes, you think, therefore you are. Now you are gonna be giving me those bones, right? Yes, these things are huge. And I found out when I use the bones, I actually grow in size. You know, my head's a little bit uh, offset still, but hey, kill a zombie. What I wouldn't do for a tasty singularity. That sounds like you can help with my time travel device. Oh, hey you, see that volcano over there? I think there might be a singularity inside. Go get it from here, I might just eat you instead. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be moving anywhere anytime soon. So why don't we, the air is too hot here. Not a problem, why don't we just put on our triceratop horns instead and bust on through. Whoa, this looks awesome, we're going inside the, <gasps> what? Is that the singularity? Oh, dude! Yo, we gotta get there as soon as possible! I'm trying to get home right now! Big bones! Big jumps! Eh! Oh! Oh, goodness! Hey! Hey, I think because my bones are calcified, I'm stronger from the damage. Yep! I'm gonna keep using those things, and it actually seems to be keeping me safe from the lava. Right on down! Let's get our hands, hopefully safely, on this! I am coming home, baby! But you know, I don't want to leave this guy hanging. I mean, I wouldn't have even realize that the singularity was there without him. 
Maybe we can just talk to him and uh, see if we can share it or something. Oh, he just took it right from me, you monster! So tasty, he ate my only way home! I could feel the cosmic energy coursing through my veins. Oh boy, you better give me... Is that my face? I have so much extra molten breath now. Here, I'll share... What? You just shared your breath with me? Uh, how am I gonna get home now? Well, the singularity didn't come back. I Singularity didn't come back. Oh my gosh, a bunch of slimes just appeared all over the place. But the molten breath has no problem taking these suckers out. Oh my goodness. Well, it's fair enough. They haven't invented toothbrushes yet. Hey, maybe the singularity came from the nether. There's a broken portal right here. Or maybe it came from this thing. Spina Strider. My spines are always getting chips and cracks. I ain't in them. Goodness gracious. Whoa, what did you just give me? Spiner Strider's spine? Maybe you could help. Did you just give me your spine? That's cool. So we can reinforce this by hammering it on warm metal. But where am I gonna find warm metal? And what is that? Hey, it looks like something crash landed here. Whoa, a meteor. Hey, I know that there's oftentimes metal found in these puppies. I ain't. All right, all right, I get it. And we can use our molten breath to start heating up the meteor, perhaps? Let's see. Yeah, it just changed color. And again. Ooh, it's getting brighter and brighter. Something's happening here. Dude. Oh, here we go. All right, let's use the spine. Hey, we did it. All righty, you freak. I have your spine back. Something I never thought I'd say before. Oh, he appears to be real warmed up to the idea. Well... Wow, these feel so strong. They should be much more sturdy now. I don't think I've ever said that about my spine before. You hear an metallic thud from far off in the vet. You're right, I did. <laughs> Sounds like it came from this alien spaceship. Yeah, it looks like the spaceship's door just opened. Nice, hey, we might be able to get home after all. We can just take over the ship here. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Hello, what just happened? Oh, he's coming for me! Eat breath, sucker! I had garlic for dinner. Hi, guys. <laughs> well, now that the crew have taken uh, their lunch, we can get our way through the rest of this ship. Oh, you need to take your lunch, my friend. Anyways, we're not gonna worry too much about it, huh? Oh, boy. Yo, oh, gosh. <laughs> I know y'all's hungry. Oh, what's this? Wait a second. Could that be... Black hole stabilizer! We can use this doohickey to get back inside, place the black hole stabilizer right in, and we are online. Let's go home.